Dear Twin Flame Souls out there, welcome to the Twin Flame Awakening Podcast and today is in episode number 40. In today's episode we will go and talk about how to end the separation between you and your Twin Flame and also dive into why the step separation is so important and how the time doesn't exist actually. And I'm just going to relieve you something that you are not actually on a separation, but the separation is on a 3D level. Anyways, there's going to be a lot of information. So take your time, dive in and come with that. Come on a journey with me. If you're new here, welcome. I hope you will enjoy this episode. And if you do like and subscribe and get connected with me. Uh, before we getting started, I just want to say that there is actually another episode, episode 40, already recorded and out, but I decided not to publish this on the main channels such as YouTube and Spotify, and it's out on Patreon for those who would like to listen to this. On the episode that I recorded and I didn't publish was for the fact that I was, I shared Um, information about false and true twin flames and I had a big battle inside of me like when I recorded it I felt like okay this information is necessary and once I finished recording and I started editing I felt like it doesn't matter for me and it and it knowing if it's your true or if it's your false twin flame in that terms that if it triggered your spiritual awakening, that matters the most because now you're closer to your soul and you're aligning with your mission and that has been always my main purpose of this journey. Even though, yes, we like to hear that this is the most incredible love story, at the end of the day, it is your spiritual awakening. And how do I know it's your spiritual awakening? Because now you're aligning with your soul, you met your soul. You met another human being, you looked at them and you felt like home, you felt like you know them, you felt something you've never felt before and your brain just simply couldn't understand what is happening. When you come, when you came into the separation, you thought, okay, how long it's going to take? One week, two weeks, okay, maybe two months, maximum, let's say six months that this person is in your mind and you move on and you move forward and you will find somebody else. Well, it turns out years and years and years can go by and this person is not going out of your mind even if you're not together. And you're wondering, how is it possible? I've never ever felt something so divine. Because you met yourself, you met your soul. You met your true essence, this divine essence. And universe now wants you to become one with yourself. And that's why you had this amazing encounter of meeting your other part of the soul. I'm just going to say for those who would like to listen to the episode that I made about false and true twin flames, it's out on Patreon. Uh, I didn't publish it. If any of you who will, who is my Patreon supporter and listens this on uh, on my uh, Patreon and feels that no, you should publish this and I think it is helpful, you can leave a comment and tell me. I'm just so in between, uh, so I didn't I didn't know what to do. So, anyways, it's out there for those who would like to know if they have really met their twin flame or it's they have met their false twin flame. So now let's dive into the information of how to end the twin flame separation. I'm going to say the first two two things that you will most probably not like at all. And you'll be like, well, that doesn't make any sense what you're saying. But after working with almost, I think like in between 500 to 1000 clients and had a very, I had an amazing call with another Twin Flame fellow. She's on our podcast in two episodes coming up and she's actually uh, releasing a book and she's, she's so insightful. She's an absolutely amazing soul. And I had a 
pleasure to talk to her. She will come again on my podcast. Uh, so make sure to like subscribe if you would like to have real insights of what this journey is about and how to become your higher self. Anyways, I'm asking too many times of like, subscribe, like, subscribe. And for me, it's important in that terms that if you find it helpful, just connect with me. Because if you feel the calling that you need to reach out to me, if you reach need to stay in touch with me, then it's the right calling. And that's where we start. You have to start doing what your soul is asking you to do if you wish to end the separation. And now I'm just going to say... The separation is not only 3D physical separation. What happens when we are in a separation with our twin flame? We think we are in a separation. We are not actually. The moment you met your twin flame, the energy exchanged. You felt the energy exchange. You have never ever felt something so divine, something like that you have arrived home. Like I can really describe it feels like the time and space were no longer there just something else happened and you couldn't recognize yourself you just all of a sudden were this purest form of yourself who were smiling that you couldn't stop smiling you were literally alive so in that moment you were in a union but now what happened your mind doesn't like the union that is only energy based your mind likes the union that is physical that you are together in this world and you are doing things together which i can totally understand i mean we like to be around the the people we love we like to have our people it's the same thing when we are losing a person from this world when somebody dies and we no longer have that physical being of this person it's extremely painful because all of a sudden you don't have you can't no longer pick up the phone and call to this person you no longer can see can feel can enjoy that but here is exactly what i'm trying to tell you you are now alive and take every day as the most beautiful day and i like that and i think it was the can't remember the name right now uh, uh, witty something like witty. i don't remember he the guy is traveling around and there is this quote that um where he says i don't know what today is bringing and then the other side of it says well how exciting is that and that's also true how exciting is that we get to wake up we get to have this human experience and we get to live and do what we're supposed to do. Because only right now in this time frame, we can, we, our, I said, say, our science, our way of understanding life is still very 3D. Like we need to see, we need to feel, we need to be next to each other, we need to share, we need to communicate, we need to be together. And that's so amazing. But at the end of the day, we come to this life alone and we live this life alone. All we have is this energy. The energy goes inside of this body and goes out of that body. But the energy continues to live. The energy doesn't disappear. And that's what happens with your twin flame as well. The moment you met, you are no longer actually in a separation. You are now united. You are feeling more alive than ever. Now you'll be asking me, well, it doesn't really look like I'm feeling alive. I can't sleep. I can't eat. These numbers are everywhere. I feel like I go crazy. I keep on hearing voices. Like so much is happening. How can you say that, you know, uh, this is happening? And uh, that we are in a union. I don't feel anything of union. All I want to do is cry. I check my phone all the time. Where is my twin flame? What my twin flame is doing? I constantly, you know, go to tarot readers, psychics, all of that to get the answers. And here I'm just, next thing I'm about to say, you need to let go. The power comes inside of you of that moment. You're willing to let go and trust the universe you're willing to let go of the outcome you're willing to let go of the control 
and uh, I speak a lot about the control in upcoming um, episodes because one of the thing is that when we are controlling ourselves we are also living in a limiting beliefs and one of the limiting beliefs is that we are not uh, limiting belief is that we are not together with our twin flame uh, you are living with your twin flame if it's your true twin flame you are sharing the same energy then you are on the same um, you are the same yes you live different lives that's completely all right we have a 3d think of yourself for a moment that when you know let's say you are you have given two options in life one option is where everything is not so like nothing is really clear let's say i just bring up a uh, simple example such as let's say you're going for a job interview one job interview is where everything is very clear you will do this 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 and that's how much you get paid and then the other one is like well you might do this you might do that you might do this the payment varies from this to that so there isn't a certain amount there isn't a thing what happens is that we offer like to choose where we know what's coming to us because that's a control that gives us the power of okay I know I'll be earning that much that will help me to live like this 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 but the other option is more where you don't have a control because you don't know how much you can put the work in at the end of the month and receive an extra amount of money so there you are pretty much up to how well you perform how uh, how much you're willing to to let go in terms of outcome and just enjoy the process well most of us will choose where we know exactly how much we'll get paid for because yes we have bills to pay talking about money i'm gonna at the end of the podcast i need to ask something (laughs) anyways so what is happening is that we like to have a control but control is holding us back of having the reality, having the possibilities. So now you'll be asking me, how do I let go of this control? I've all my life liked to control and control has helped me. I can say the same thing. I've been extremely controlling in terms of paying my bills on time, being on time to the places, never being late, doing everything on time, being super perfect. Well, the super perfect, led me up to a pretty severe burnout because I was trying to control and let's say if you're trying to control and the life has its own plan the life has its own plan to send me a twin flame on my way which was not part of my plan if you think of if you're wondering today you're listening to my podcast did I ask for a twin flame on my way that yes I want the twin flame I want to feel this I want to experience no I didn't even know about twin flames until it happened and until until the separation like the end of the separation pretty much or like I said there isn't separation but in that terms physical separation or no contact separation I thought this is madness whatever whoever came up with this twin flame I wish them all the best but I don't want to feel this I no longer want to feel any of this It was so exhausting. It was the most exhausting part of the spiritual awakening I had ever been through because I couldn't, I I couldn't understand the reality no longer. Like all I, I was just existing. And then from there, I started to let go of the control. Um, And I can say that the more you let go of the control and the more you come into the present moment, you're coming into this now. That's why, again, it's all the links that are in my bio. The power of now is very powerful. I've heard that from many, and it was the same with me. I never shared that. And that, I'm telling the universe is so freaking smart. It's incredible. Prior of meeting my twin flame, I happened to go to one event, I think, or something like this, and there were books. And I saw the book, The Power of Now. It was on the uh, blue cover. And there were many other books. There were a lot of books, to be honest. And in some reason, I picked 
the power of now. But that was way before I had met my twin flame. So what happened was that I took this book, started reading, and I didn't connect at all. I was reading it and I was like, what is this about this bestseller? Like, I don't really get it. Like, it doesn't really connect with me. (laughs) Of course it didn't. Because I didn't understand that back then the power of now and the power of energy and the power of being here. So what happened? I think it was in December when I picked it up. So in January, I did my soul realignment. Felt really good. Had no need of picking up this book. Mind of March, met my twin flame. Uh, Well, then I had the most beautiful time of my lifetime. And then came the separation of three, four months of complete agony. And during that time, I picked up that book. And you know, it was like I was... How to say that I was like observing the book, like the book made so much sense to me. And that's why I keep on saying that sometimes the power of now doesn't make sense to you because you are not ready for it. And that's why the information also doesn't make sense to you. Today's podcast can be definitely one of the hardest for you to listen that what do you mean I am in a union? What do you mean I have to let go? How do I let go? I can't let go of the mind. You're not letting go of the mind. The mind, this, this soul feeling that keeps on coming. You're letting go of the control. The control when, how, why, now. I want it now. I want this. I want that. You start trusting the universe. But you also will listen to the universe so that's a next step if you wish to end the separation now you be you're half you're here and listening like yeah all of this great story we are 5d in union but i want to be in a union i want to be in a relationship with my twin flame i I don't want this 5d crap i want to be in a union physical union i need him or her i need to be so why you keep on telling oh you are in the union everything is good well One of the things is that you can't be in a physical union. Literally, the universe will not make it happen when you're not starting to do why the universe chose you. Whatever it is, whatever you have to put out there, it will not happen before that. Even though, yes, you can have a good relationship with your twin flame, um, but they also have to go through their ego death in order to see this. So it's not... How do I say? It's not about I want this or I need this. It's about that you first become that energy that attracts. The energy that can just sit down and everything comes to you. Wouldn't be that great, you know, if you are a person who been, I mean, I know many of us uh, have been hardworking trying to get to the places, trying to do everything and believe that the hard work is the key element. I believe that hard work is the element of success. But I believe that energy is even more powerful. When you align hard work with the right energy, the magic will start to happen. So that's why my program, my way of explaining the information is exactly that become your higher self. The moment you become your higher self, the moment you start doing what you're supposed to do and no longer fear, so I'm going to list the fears, that you're going to lose your twin flame, that your twin flame is not going to be in your life, that uh, your twin flame will be with somebody else or your twin flame is married to somebody else and loves this other person more than you. Here is the thing, twin flame love and connection is something divine. It's a divine love. It's not a soulmate love. It's not the karmic love. It's divine love. It's a love that comes from the same source. You are the same source. Imagine yourself right now. Uh, Let's say... There is a fire that you started and this fire has been taken into 
small bits, but when it comes together, it's alive. I love the movie Elements. Uh, it was so beautiful, and I find it it has a lot of Twin Flame element in it as well. So, for those who would like to watch it, you can watch this as well. Oh my God, I'm talking so much about movies and books today, but I'm, hopefully it helps. You know. So you are the same source. You're coming from the same. Uh, energy that's why you felt it so you are not in a separation ever even though in 3d life we can make a decision based on our comfort based on our fears based on our ego based on many factors like for example some men or women who are your twin flames can choose another partner because they are afraid of being alone let's say getting old alone afraid of not having a family afraid if they will ever find somebody in their life so they are choosing somebody else because they don't know yet that there is a twin flame did i know did i know when i first got married that i will run into my twin flame no i didn't know that i didn't know although today i see this connection completely different and i know it's the hardest thing for you to is to accept the way i see it and I respect that because a year ago would have been the exact same story for me. I was like, what higher self? Why I have to do this? Why I have to let go of my fears? Why I have to let go of my control? It doesn't help. Well, it does help. And it does a huge shift inside of you. It's like all of a sudden things start coming to you instead of you chasing them, instead of you feeling that, I need this, I need this. Because I also could say that the twin flames in that terms is a little bit like the drug. That you need this attention from your twin flame in order to feel happy. But shouldn't happiness come inside of us? Shouldn't we feel content where we are today and what we do today? I know it's a difficult journey. I'm not here to say that you can shift that within a one week one month, you listen to my one of my ep ep episodes and you're like, okay, I will now start today. I am letting go of my twin flame. I will move on. It will not happen like that. There are better days and the worst days, especially that we are energetic beings. So as we are energetic beings, we also feel what is happening it, with retrogrades, what is happening, new moon, full moon. Uh, so we feel all of that and also when our twin flame is going through something we feel this as well but that's another story so now I'm gonna just go to review it for a quickly so the first thing it be that you know that you are in the union you are in the 5d union it's not maybe three 3d but when you know you are in the union that gives you that confidence. Now you could ask, but how do I know? I'm just going to say another thing which I didn't know. So it's been a learning process for me as well. I had another client and I do after each of our channeling call, I'll do the meditation. I go into, it's not on the consultation calls, but when you book the channeling, I always go and I open the sources. That's why it's a little bit more expensive, just because it's consumes a lot of my energy and what happened was that the client absolutely amazing such a mentor such a person knows how to manifest knows how to leave knows how to get the things like powerful powerful fire and I'm just sitting with her and I'm like it's impossible it's impossible to get through her like I can I can feel her I can understand her but I, I feel like there's a wall, there's a wall, there's a wall. What happened was that her twin flame operates a lot on ego. And here is what is happening when somebody operates 100% or 90% on their ego, not on their soul. I would say we need ego to operate on this 3D world, but we don't e need ego more than 10% or maybe 5%. Let's, let's keep it. Let's keep it down there. And I couldn't go through. I just couldn't. Every time I bounced back, I bounced back. And I'm, I, I, could, I could feel how my, my soul is like 
something is off, something is off. And I came to know that I realized, okay, there's such an ego blockage. And what happens is when I go through the energy and the ego is there, the ego doesn't allow me to feel. So now I'm going to explain what happens to the twin flame whose, whose energy I'm trying to go into. I'm trying to go into the to open. And what he does is either going to, let's say, light a cigarette, drink something, um, say, no, I am not this kind of man who feels like this. And so it's all the time denying and denying. So that puts a block for me to go through this and get an information. Because it, as soon as I try to like open that door, the door is closed by the ego. Ego is like, Mm-mm, I'm protecting you. You don't need to feel this. You don't need to know this. So that's why I always said that if your twin flames are smoking or drinking or on drugs or taking any kind of heavy medications, it's always harder to channel the information. And that's why it also might take a little longer. And I'm here today for you to tell that please try to balance your system very quickly out of any kind of toxins. I'm not saying you have to become saint. Not at all. Have fun in life. Have fun. That's why the life is made for. Dance, sing, smoke, uh, uh, eat. But just see how it makes you feel afterwards. If it doesn't make you feel good, then it was most probably not what you needed. So just really watch out because you are an empath you feel and everything but at the same time make sure you have fun in this life as well because that's you're born also to have fun so when they are operating in ego you have to be very patient that it will not it might take some time but now you're wondering but how can i start shading the ego here is exactly number one and it's the hardest it's the hardest exercise letting go just letting go just say i let you go i let you go to experience i let you go to have this amazing opportunity to become one with yourself will it be painful yes but i'm letting you go those who are parents i listened to, i think jordan peterson was talking about it that for parents for mothers especially is the hardest to let their kids to go out of the nest. It's one of the hardest things for us to do. But we have to. Why? Because if we don't let them go. We pretty much handicap them. That they are not able to live their life on their own. So we have to take this leap of faith. That we are sending them out to this dangerous world. And that everything is going to be okay. Is it easy? I think it's one of the hardest things to do. But we have to have this. I mean... I've heard like Jordan Peterson said that psychologically for women it's let's like the worst thing to do. So now in twin flames as well. To let go, to let go of your twin flame and trust that your twin flame is going to go through the dark night of the soul, it's gonna come out of that and it's gonna find a way to you. But you only have to let go of them. You really have to let go and follow your path. It's not and it and here just don't mess up because I feel like sometimes we are messing up in the understanding of letting go and ignoring. No, letting go means that you're not controlling their reality. You're not controlling what is going to come with them. With my channeling calls, of course, if the ego is not so present, I can go through you because you share the same uh, soul energy. I can go th- with you through that and I can start slowly opening up for them. That means it's not going to be present, p- pleasant for them, but it will slowly start to activate. I know many of you have had calls with me and I say I'm going to the meditation and the energy channeling now because I, through meditation I go more deeply inside. If I just talk to you, I have a lot of information that is coming through, but when I go with energy, you feel often, like I've always said, you will feel your heart starts to palp- like f- uh, beat faster, palpitations. You might feel a little bit like anxious that you don't want to be in this because I am in your energy field and I am 
going after these blocks that are holding you and uh, and it's difficult it's not easy at all but just that what gives an overview that what, what will happen so here is and we go back to this letting go because the letting go is so hard i know many of you who are listening you don't like this advice you're like what do you mean i'm letting go i want my twin flame back how do i show my twin flame that i love them how do i show my twin flame that i am there for him i want to love him you let go of controlling the reality you go within and you say to the universe to yourself if i'm if I have to be with my twin flame, if we have a mission together, then let it be. I trust you. I trust. Even if it takes a long time. We are so afraid of worrying that we are losing time, but not living in the time. You know, all we have is now. If you sit here and you worry about, oh, if my twin flame comes back in two years, I'll be 35. If my twin flame comes back in 10 years, I'll be 55, 45, 55. I don't know. Well, we don't know that. We don't know what you have to experience before that. I really would recommend you to look as I had a chance to listen to an amazing podcast by Elaine Pagels. I can put this podcast out here. Uh, she she has devoted all of her life into like understanding the um, the the spirituality. The, also, she started with Christianity. I think it's called Gnostic Gospels. It's a bit different. It's a more deep. But what I tried to tell, she was married. Uh, she's eighty years old now. She was well. She's turning eighty. Um, she's married. She has everything. It, like she, her husband passed away, her son passed away, and she's 80 and she's getting married. Just realize, because she has understanding that it's not about worrying five years, two years, ten years. When the time is right, it's going to happen to you. Do you have to, is it going to be easy? No. But think about it. How much you're losing of living your life the fullest, doing what you want to do. And here are just a couple of other things that I really uh, would recommend you to set on your daily schedule. And I'm not going to say I'm here perfect because when I had a long week, I have a really nice, I don't know, I'm going to mention his name. I hope he's not going to be upset. A really good uh, follower, really good supporter, Rob. And always when we have calls together, we have he, ha- he has a very good energy and he has a purpose. I'm just keep on saying, please start doing it. People need your information. He can feel and he can see a lot as well. And he looked at me and he says, oh, you have to go for the spa day and the treatment. And you have to take days off because you're running on a burnout. And I'm like, yes, I am running on a burnout. As working with so many of you, and it's an honor for me. It's exhausting for my system to release it. So because I'm taking when I go into your pain I'm, and some of you have a beautiful energy. That's why uh, I don't know if I'm allowed to mention this because I just want to say the divine masculine woman who I met and uh, she's on our Patreon. She shared a story how she woke up anyways. And uh, and uh, what I was about to say about that. So now I lost the track. Anyways, what I was... uh, Anyhow, they had... They had... Like, she had a good energy. She had a very, very good energy. So when I was... Our call from 45 minutes, I think, ended up like two hours or something. Because she has a very good energy. She's in balance. She's in a really good union with herself. But often, if I speak to you, you are not. And I, I can understand that's why I'm here as as an energy channeling, as the one who is trying to help you to the next level. I've received back so many emails. And again, I'm so thankful. Again, very slow um, to reply. But I'm very, very thankful that you're writing back to me and saying, wow, I felt release. Wow, this thing started to happen to me. Wow, the process is going. I'm feeling. Now my next step is also to work on real workshops that where we do exercises together what i am doing and also the things i did in prior to get my twin flame to the place 
where he is starting to wake up, where he's, he told me the whole story, what he felt, like everything, everything I wanted to know when I was in a separation, I was able to receive this information once I let go. And to be honest, I remember that also, that that happened when I started my podcast. And also, I remember that I no longer cared. I was like, well, if he didn't, it's fine to me as well, because I had an amazing experience. I have experienced something I never experienced in my life before. I'm sure I'm going to experience more and more in this life. The universe is there like, I will give you as much as you can handle. So here I'm just really working hard on putting out the workshop, live workshop, recorded workshops, or the sound healing, breath work, sexual energy. So it's a lot is coming, uh, but I'm going to tell you at the end of the podcast something where I need your help a little bit. Well, if you can't help, it's fine too, but it's just... Anyways, so here are a couple of things that I really would like you to implement into your daily routine if you want the separation to come to the point where you have a very good relationship or even in a union. But don't forget that even if you are in a 3D union, the work will remain. It's not, it's not going to be only love. So it's better to do that in prior that you are very aware. You're very aware of your mission. You're very aware of what you're doing. And now, how do you know what is going to be your mission? When you start doing what your soul is asking you. If your soul is waking you up at 2 or 3 a.m. in the morning and is not letting you to sleep and is just giving you the signs, that means it's time now to start. So do not wait like forever for this to happen. Another thing is what you should implement in your daily routine. So that's something. If you can, start today. When you wake up in the morning, do not watch your phone. Try to take a little bit earlier to wake up. Let's say if you have to be at work by 8, try to wake up at 6. Try to take this 15-20 minutes of fresh air time with yourself. That you really meditate on this 15-20 minutes. You can even start with 5 minutes. Just the fact that you are there. Although I forgot the next uh, the f- number one thing I do. Before opening your eyes, you say, thank you, today is going to be the most beautiful day. You go into the meditation, you go on with your day, whatever is coming. Uh, you watch your things that you don't like. For example, you go into the traffic, you don't like, you go to the work, the colleagues are not the nicest. It can be total opposite as well. Don't get me wrong that your life has to be complete disaster. But I'm just bringing it in that if you feel like no I don't like this no I don't like that why is it like this why my husband is like that why everybody is like this I deserve more I'm this write them down start keeping the diary of why you're feeling this way and you don't have to put the self-blame on yourself let's figure out why you're feeling like this because that means there is somewhere inside of you in your energetic field that triggers that emotion that you don't like something For example, often it's self-worth. We haven't taken enough time for ourselves to take care of it. I am extremely guilty over here. I am super bad at taking care of myself. I would always take care of anybody else. And then I would sit down and complain about it. How I'm feeling so tired. How I'm not feeling good. And then when I'm sitting down and complaining about it, I realize, but whose fault is that? Whose fault is this? that you decided to say yes to everything, to give out everything you had, and now you're sitting here and you don't have that five minutes of nice energy with yourself. And that's that, that's the hardest part to do in Twin Flame Journey, and to be very honest with yourself. I would also say what helps a lot here, what helps a lot, and even for myself as well, is to talk to somebody. So if you want to book the call with me, you can book. If you want to book the call with somebody else, with therapist, with so on and so on. Or even you have a best friend or somebody who understands you, book the call with them. Just because it will help you to come, to become one with yourself, to to be in this energy and to realize that you're releasing, you're releasing. My energy channeling um, uh, calls 
are definitely the most powerful because I'm starting to release the blockages. So from there on, it's I know it sounds a bit like, how is it possible? But I have built a very strong connection with my twin flame. So I've been my longtime clients that I can really, really, not every time, I can say not every time when the ego comes in and I've been even kicked out from the energy with their own ego. So then I'm like, okay, um, I know you don't like it, but we have to do it. So it's a lot of self-reflection of why you're feeling the certain way. Because the more you have this, I don't, and here I'm trying really to put together the blueprint for the fact of we often, because I, I speak to often of you and we're focusing, does my twin flame feel this way? Yes, your twin flame feels everything you feel. But when you are frustrated with yourself, your twin flame is not directly frustrated, but doesn't want to feel this energy. Because they see the beauty of you. My twin flame saw the, saw the most beautiful parts of me, which I had no idea. One is my voice. I mean, I know I'm not fluent in English. I know I make mistakes. I know I say some things that doesn't make any sense. But he said, your voice, I can listen and listen and listen for hours. And I was like, all right, I don't know. Um, I can't hear myself in that terms. And now I receive emails constantly where people are saying, your voice is so shooting, 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 <laughs> soothing. Your voice is so relaxing. Your voice is giving me the peace. The vo your voice is giving me like this comfort of knowing that I'm not crazy in my head. And you know, he saw that in me. Without him, without my twin flame, this podcast would have never happened. My voice would have never been out there. Because for me, it was very hard to accept that I make mistakes. And then, you know, it's just like, oh, I don't know, it doesn't sound perfect and this and that. You know, another thing is the control. I like to be in a control that nobody can come up to me and say, well, you said this thing wrong or you did this. And I was like, oh, I have to fix that. I have to fix that. Like completely instead of going with the flow. Yes, I made a mistake. You tell me how to fix this. I will fix it. I will learn. I'm here to learn and grow. That's who I am. And twin flames are like every single information I'm putting out there for free in that terms is that I would like you to take that seriously. That because only you, only you at the end of the day can turn this separation around for yourself. Only you. Now I've uh, many of you been in a quite a long separation with themselves. But I'm going to just say another thing here. I let you to calculate the time when you realized that you are on a twin flame journey. I'm just bringing an... Uh, I make up an example and then you can do it for yourself. Let's say you met your twin flame from the 1st of January. First, you didn't really realize something happened, but you didn't know what happened. Uh, there are different types of stories as well where you meet them in prior, but so on. But I'm just making a very typical example, very typical. You meet them on the 1st of January. You have a nice time together. Let's say first time you have a meeting. Then let's say a couple of weeks go by, you have it really grows and so you have this bubble phase from let's say February March let's say February March then he disappears or she disappears no words you don't know what is happening and March April May let's put even June you are like wondering what is this why you can't get out of them you're doing all kinds of things trying to get out of their home but it's now six months in, and let's say in July, you're realizing you got the message that twin flames, you know, we'll look up for the twin flames. You start observing the information of twin flames. So it goes July, August, then let's say by September, you're convinced, oh, I am a twin flame. I met my other part. Then all of a sudden, everything starts to make sense to you. You start maybe listening to my podcast, maybe other podcasts, you start looking the twin flame information and you are like, wow, I went through all of that. This is, this is my twin flame. I met my twin flame. So now it's nine months in. 
So you had the first realization that you are. So then now you gather, you're getting the information what you have to do in order to balance your energies, in order to become one within and so on and so on. So that takes, let's say, another three, four months. Now think of your, your twin flame who is slower. You are, let's say, a one year ahead. They're one year, oh, let's put nine months. You're nine months ahead. Give them this nine months to come and follow up with you. So it's not going to happen today. If you're expecting that, and it can happen that your twin flame pops back to you right, right now, but then there is definitely a reason. So I hope my explanations are good enough of realizing that there is a process. I am not a big fan of believing in a time. I believe in that energy is the one that is going to help this to happen. The more we deny of looking into the mirror and not into the mirror of what we have, into the mirror of our fears, things that makes us upset, things that we don't feel aligned with, things that are not there for us, the longer it will take because your twin flame has to go through the same process. I'm just curious to know, so those who are listening, you can also put it down here in the comments. When you met your twin flame, I mean, I can say my twin flame was not, not at all my type, but I cannot no longer see him not my type. I, I hope it makes sense in that terms that I, uh, I uh, when I first met him in that terms, I was like, yeah, great. Like I had no no interest whatsoever like and it was not part of my plan so it was nothing but now of course when and even though I still have like physically he's not my like I mean he's not a bad looking guy obviously but it's just not I would go for like completely simply if I look at him without knowing him I'd be like mm, okay yeah great <laughs> I don't know not my type anyways uh when I first met and we had that like from there on I could not see anything faulty inside of my country like that there is anything negative inside of my country like until today I still cannot see anything negative uh, we don't speak the same language we don't have the same background even though you know he has certain beliefs I don't align with or for example because he's more religious than I am and other things I don't see them negative at all. Like there is no negativity inside of me when it comes. So I'm just curious to know if any of you have, let's say, certain things they feel like they have towards their twin flame. So you can leave a comment, you can share something. Uh, it's just something I haven't asked from previously. So maybe if you get a moment, you could put it down there. So let's go one more time over. First of all, you're not in a separation. You're already in a union. You're a union from the day one you met. Second thing, let go. Let go of the control. Let go of being in this element that you need to know when, how, uh, what you have to do, what you shouldn't do. What? No, you have to do things for yourself in order to balance. Write down the things that irritate you. Write down the things that you are not aligning with take time for yourself the and I'm very guilty here I'm very bad at taking time for myself of treating myself with a spa or going anywhere I'm super bad at this uh, trying to fix this but you need you see another day my guides were like we don't have a help of you if you're gonna be empty please go over there do this and it's funny that I keep on following the voice the noise the thing that is guiding me and it's opening up a lot for me so write these things down, uh, speak it out, let it go, uh, unblock the things. So if you need to talk to someone, I'm here. You can book the call at twinflameawakeningjourney.com. You can email to me. I'm slow to reply, but I do my best. Um, you can always stay in touch with me. Join the Patreon, for example. This Sunday we have a new call, group call. And uh, there you can learn, you can come in, you can share, you can hear, you can talk. 
we discuss everything, sign up for the newsletter. If you want to get an access on Patreon, it's always free. It costs $5.99 a month to support me on Patreon that I could continue doing this content and pay for the expenses, what comes with it. I have a lot of this end of this year. We I'll ha- I will have a lot more than just the podcast and I'm trying to make it, first of all, affordable or even for free, depending on the demand and so on. As I like to see you on top of the world, who is attracting, who is becoming, who is that beauty. So just these are the things. I find it is very powerful when you get to talk out of the things of that is being so long time on your heart and you're wondering, am I crazy? Why am I feeling like this? Why I can't get him out of my head? I always keep on saying him. It doesn't actually... I, I, I know I have more female listeners than male listeners, but I just want to also say a lot to my male listeners. You mean so much to me, and I'm sorry that it's always in him version. It's also her. But uh, I just, I know how it feels. So having someone to talk with, having this energy to flow and get out of you, you feel this sense of relief. I know how powerful, because... For me, I kept inside so long time. I always say it was the worst thing to do. Honestly, it was the worst thing to do because I could, I I was, I, it it was just like a, like a big thing inside of me that was hurting my heart. And luckily, as I did Shivaratri, I balanced my inner, and then, and then I did this deep breath work. Again, another thing is I am inviting you to the breathwork event once I have my uh, my certification ready. And on this breathwork, uh, you would need a good set of headsets, nice calm place. We will do it online in a beautiful place. Uh, that's what I'm all setting it up that I could give you the courses that you lie down, you come with me and we have because we live all across the world. But I know even if you get to do this at home with a, with the proper equipment, with the proper intention, it'd be very le- releasing and powerful. I can do it one-to-one. I can do it in a group session and then we can have discussion and talk about it and be in this. It's so beautiful and it's so powerful. But okay, there's a lot of things that I'm promising here and I'm hoping I keep my promise, but let's go with the flow. Uh next thing is what I wanted to say (laughs) okay Uh, anyways as you can see that my podcast have been very up and down and like the technology has been working really against me I have two computers laptop and a a pc and things that none of them want to work so I mean they are I don't know if they're old or I need that because the energy Also, because when I speak, you know, I'm putting out the energy and I know it sounds crazy, but it looks like my computers, my work computers doesn't want to accept this information no longer. So anyways, I just wanted to say that if you would like me to regularly post and keep on doing the free post and free information as much as I can and putting it out there, if you can support a little donation on the PayPal, I put the link over here for my new computer that is only for this podcast and only for this that I could produce things properly because it's been driving me absolutely crazy that my computer just freezes at the moment I start editing podcasts recently so there is I think it's the energy or I don't know but if you feel like you like my work if you feel like it has an impact for you and you have I know that many of you are struggling financially I totally get it and I'm not asking anything from you in return uh, it's just if you feel like oh I love her work I love what she's giving to me I love her energy the link is in a donation and maybe hopefully it will help me to get the new computer just for that mission and that will help me to record all the breathwork sessions all the sexual energy and everything so just currently it seems it's impossible and it's it's just so funny anyways it's nothing what you have to do but if you can I'm more than happy to receive your donation that will help and contribute contribute into this mission and of course at the one day you will have an extra 
offer based on that. Anyways, that's just totally up to you. Other things are Patreon, of course, if you support my uh, podcast and my YouTube channel on Patreon. Uh, $5.99, it's per month, where you have access to the two live calls. I Now there will be this other podcast, which I didn't release, for who are your real twin flames and who are your false twin flames. You can listen to it, you can let me know, should or shouldn't upload it for others. Up to you, totally. And... Yeah, so if you're supporting me there, that's another way for me to get closer to the new computer. <laughs> uh, and what else, what else? And of course, if you would like to share your story, twinflameawakeningjourney at gmail.com, I will read your story, I will channel the energies, I will see what you have to do, how you have to do, what is happening. And also for the consultation cause, twinflameawakeningjourney.com. I just would like to say, mind you, that I'm going to most probably change the process of booking just for the fact that I want to make sure you are ready to receive the information I'm giving it to you. Right now, you can still book the same as it is. And my main aim is that I give the right information, we connect. I, If we do channeling, energy channeling is most powerful one as I will remove the blocks. But if you're new, your first call Unfortunately, there are no longer free calls available just because um, my energy was so empty that I felt that those who are paying eventually the full price will not get what I'm offering. And so just for that, it's with a small fee. It's with a discounted fee completely, 50% off. Uh, so you don't... It's just that when I am with you... I know that then from that moment I can take another two or three hours break, renew myself for the energy channeling because I do meditation in prior and I do meditation afterwards. I, I have a ritual and all of it. I mean, it's a lot to say, but anyways, these are just the things I do that you would know what I'm doing. It's not only talking. There is a process involved. Anyways, all of them are available at twinflameawakeningjourney.com. You can also tell me what type of topics you would like to hear more, what kind of information do you need, what kind of workshop would be the best for you. If you can, donate. The PayPal link is in bio. And hopefully then two, three podcasts per week and the workshops will come smoothly and I no longer need to argue with my computer that why you don't want to access, accept this information. <laughs> crazy world we are living in anyways i love you so much and i'm so thankful that you were here today and i hope this information gave you some overview and you can of course like subscribe or just connect i am more than happy to have you over here lots of love and light